Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Magnum Videos. It's been 57 days since I updated you on the Great Depression and a lot has happened since then. And that's what we're going to talk about today and I'll show you where we're at. And we're going to start right after this. It's a lot more comfortable sitting down out here than it is standing in the garage. So we're going to talk about the Great Depression. Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you've kind of watched it uh, progress as we've been working on it. Uh, just to bring you up to speed, it started out as a relatively small area, just kind of a little saucer in the on the south side of the lawn near the property line but within like a, a week or so it had expanded to a, a larger space and uh, I don't think it's expanded any since then I began working on it on April the 25th and this is June the 22nd 2021 so it's been, I think, 58 days as of today, and we have it, at this point, up to pretty much level. It started out as like a two inch, a little over two inch depression, and it slowly worked its way up. I was trying to keep the, the grass uncovered the whole time, but the last couple of days I've had to go ahead and cover some of the grass in order to get the, the level up to where it needs to be. So we are, just about ready for the next step and that is going to be something that I'll probably get a lot of uh, criticism about uh, I'm going to put some seed down and I know this is June the end of June we're going into July and August the worst time of the year to seed so uh, I'm sure that Alan Hain will probably uh, chew me out for doing that this time of year. Ryan Knorr, I don't know, he might not because he's kind of a, a you know, guy that likes to do stuff out of the ordinary. Connor Ward, the lawn rebel, the guy that looks like the Pringles can guy, uh, he'll probably say, go ahead and do it, whatever. Uh, uh, Pete over GCI, turf, he'll probably say do it too. But anyway, I've got, since it's such a small area, I can put a little whirly gig sprinkler on there and water it four times a day if I need to for five minutes to keep it moist. And uh, I think, I think it should be okay. I have the Jonathan Green Seed, the Ultra uh, Black Beauty that I used last year for overseeding, so I don't have any expense there. Uh, I need to go bit, get a little bit of peat moss to cover it up with so we can keep the moisture in and keep the birds away. So that will be a, a trip to Lowe's to get that. And uh, I will, in the next video, I'll probably show you uh, the seeding process and show you where we are at that point and keep you informed as to what kind of success we have with it. Just so you know, uh, I have put 36 bags of Scott's lawn soil on that depression so far. I think that's all I'm going to need to put on unless it drastically sinks overnight. Please no. Um, so 36 bags at one and a half cubic feet per bag. That's uh, 54 cubic feet. And that is equivalent to two cubic yards, which is about what it should be to spread out over that area. So uh, I hope uh, I hope you'll subscribe and uh, stick around and watch what happens with this depression. Hopefully, we can get it back to the condition it was in before, when our lawn was nice and flat and beautiful. Um, but we'll see. One, a couple of other things real quick. It's not a water line leakage. We, the city has checked that. It's not a sewer line problem. 
So just check that too. It's probably construction debris because we found some in other parts of the yard. Um, or it may be tree stumps because this area was all woods uh, before they cleared it and started building. So it could be anything down there that's just decomposed and caused the, the soil level to drop. So I've drugged this on long enough. Uh, I'm going to go to Lowe's and get some stuff and then uh, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you'll like this video real quick. Click that like button because that tells YouTube to send it out to more people so we get more views and uh, more revenue, hopefully. Leave a comment. I would love to hear what you have to say. Uh, pros or cons, either way. If you've experienced something like this, let me know. Uh, if you think I shouldn't be seeding this time of year, let me know that too. And uh, until I speak with you again, and even after that, you stay focused.